Hi, I'm Graham Steele, CEO and founder of CryptoSense, and today I'm going to talk about Triple Dead Cipher. Is it secure or not? Well, I can make the video very short and just give you the answer, no. So the Triple Dead Cipher was deprecated by NIST, so the standards agency that actually created the Triple Dead Cipher years back in 2017. It had already been deprecated by ENISA, the roughly speaking, the European equivalent back in 2014. So it's a cipher that you shouldn't be using. If you're thinking of starting a new project today, don't use three dares or triple dares as your block cipher. Just don't do it. To go a little bit further, so why is it that we don't think triple dares is secure anymore? Well, we need to look a little bit at the history of that. What actually is triple dares? Triple dares is a three times application in a particular way with a particular key configuration of the dares cipher, which dates all the way back to the 1970s. Um, was one of the first major block ciphers to become standardized and widely used. Now there's a whole interesting story about how it was designed, how standards bodies got involved and changed things about it, whether they made it secure, whether they made it less secure. Uh, we've got an interesting article on the blog which gives you all the details of that. You can really dive into, get all the references and find out what went on. But the short version is that around 1999, NIST realized that the key length of single DES, the original DES was, was too short at 56 bits to resist commonly available computing hardware. So there were some demonstrations of attacks out there by them. And so they standardized a way of chaining together three keys uh, and applying the cipher three times to get a new and slightly more secure cipher. So in fact, the effective key length of triple DES isn't three times the key length of DES for various reasons that you can read about in the blog article. Uh, and so it's only considered by NIST to have an effective key length of about 80 bits, uh, which is not enough in today's world in terms of uh, brute force attacks, uh, at least as, as far as we calculate the possibilities of, of serious state level uh, attacks and so on. But even more dangerous than that, Triple Dez has a, a basic design problem, which is its 64 bit block size. So even triple dares are 64-bit block size. Uh, single dares already had a 64-bit block size. Uh, and you can't really do anything about this. Uh, and the reason that's a problem is what's known as birthday attacks. So with the size of blocks of data that we encrypt nowadays, you can quickly run into a situation where just by chance, you end up in a big block of data that you've encrypted and chopped up into 64-bit chunks that you actually end up encrypting the same 64-bit chunk twice. And in certain circumstances, for example, if you're using the CBC mode of chaining those blocks together, that's actually a fatal problem that's going to lead to you losing your data. And this could happen within the use of standard protocols like TLS, if you're using three dares and CBC ciphers and, and, and using this over big blobs of data. So this led NIST to recommend that if you absolutely have to use three days, you have to continue to use it in, in legacy stuff, you need to make sure you don't encrypt more than eight megabytes of plain text before you change the key. Uh, otherwise you might end up having a problem with these kind of, of attacks. Uh, so that's the, the answer. Triple Dez is not any, law, any longer considered a uh, secure cipher. If you want to try and figure out where you've still got three days in your sprawling IT, you might want to start working on what we call a crypto inventory. So figuring out where you're using different cryptography inside applications and file systems, where you've got it on network devices. And we've got some more material about that here on uh, the channel and on our blog. Otherwise, if you've got questions about Triple Dez, go ahead and put them in the comments. If you wanna follow more crypto news here on CryptoSense, hit subscribe. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you soon again here on the channel. Mm -hmm.